Today we're going to try two different recipes. Uh, I love to smoke fish. We're going to try this fish smoked. When you smoke fish, it tenders the fish up and you can just pick it off the bone. The other segment, we'll get just enough fish out to fry it. And surely out of this monstrosity of fish, we can get some boneless portion to throw in a frying pan. And here we go. We plan on getting a, a, a decent sized fish to eat. And I was thinking about the length of this table. Well, that's not exactly what we ended up with. So we have on our hands a huge fish. And we're going to try this fish. If it's good, we're going to tell you. If it's so-so, we'll tell you. If it's garbage and we need to take this fish and use it for fertilizer, which I have a big garden out back and I, I have done that many times before, that's what we'll do. So we'll give you an honest opinion. And uh, now the task at hand is to cut this monster up. This again is something that's new for us. Uh, I've never cleaned one, so bear with us. Uh, I'm sure out of this huge fish, we'll get some usable meat. So we're gonna start like you're typically filleting a fish here. And we're gonna try to get this bone. We're gonna cut around the rib cage and take this fillet off. Down the backbone, I'm gonna to try to stay right along like in, with any fillet. I'm gonna to try to stay right alongside that backbone. You can feel it as you go. I'm trying to fill with the rib cages here. When I get to the rib cage, I'll take my knife up and along the rib cage. Stay along the backbone again. And there's a big piece of meat. All right, now one of the things that you'll notice right off the bat is the color of this fish. It's a really nice color. It's the kind of the color of fish that you want to eat. I'm going to cut off, cut off some parts and pieces that I missed that don't have any bones in them. That will fry up just fine, I feel certain. Now as you feel along, you'll feel what they call that Y bone along through here, and we'll cut around that later. But first of all, what we need to do is, again, kind of in between that meat and the skin. And you know what? Even you two-handed people might want to try to find a partner to help you out because this is a big old filet of meat right here. But look at that. Look at that meat right there. All right, let's cut the red meat off again. Cut the skin off, that extra skin, red meat. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these two pieces of meat. I'm just gonna take these two pieces, make two pieces out of this right here, right through the bones. Here's what I've got. Now I can feel bones in this just pretty much like you can with a uh, musky or pike. Good looking meat right there. Now I'm gonna take these and put them in a brine. Soy sauce, kosher salt, garlic pepper, maple syrup, and a lot of black pepper. We're gonna go ahead and drop that in the solution. We're gonna let it soak for a couple hours. And again, these are just big hunks of fish with the bone in. All right, we got some smoke rolling here. We've had our fish smoking in the brine for several hours. Now we're gonna take that fish and we're gonna put that on the rack. So there's one of our recipes, smoked end of it. Now let's go fry some fish. We're again gonna cut just like you would fillet anything else. Make a line behind that pectoral fin, go down the backbone, along the rib cage, right down along this tail, and then kind of scoop that out as you go. Now we're gonna cut right down the middle of this fish. Now we're gonna explore this interesting piece of meat here. All right, this is the inside of fish, of the fish. And this is where we're gonna cut off this outer portion before we get into the bones. That's some good size. And as you 
cut along here, there's no bones in any of this. There's a good piece of meat right there for front. Now here is where we see what they call that Y bone that's exposed. So what we're gonna try to do is if you see this and this, these are those bones that are exposed. Anything between here and here is boneless. So we're gonna cut right along that exposed bone and separate this section right here. And you can feel the bones where the bones go in. So watch for those. Kind of cut and scoop as you go. This outside piece will be boneless. And again, it's up to you to check for bones because they can get in there. To this side of the Y bone. Kind of scoop away from that. And this is a piece right here that would bake well. You know, on a bigger fish, you could have a bigger piece of fish, but you could bake that, you could grill that. And in the middle of this Y-bone section, use this knife to cut down on either side of that. Cut you kind of a V-shaped wedge Just kind of pull that center piece out. That was my first uh, attempt and I hacked it up pretty good, but we did get some good sections to smoke and we did get some nice sections to try to fry up. Now we got enough for, you know, several people. Generally, when I fry fish, most people like a cornmeal batter. I'm gonna take just a little bit of cornmeal, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of Cajun seasoning, and I'm good to go. And I'll drop that in a skillet or a fry daddy, whichever one you want to do. Got our oil all heated up. Now again, we've got the fish in the smoker as we speak. It smells real good. Looks like he's about done. I'll let him cool off. And then we'll give it a shot and see what it's like. I cheated. Brian had his back turned and was messing with the other camera. And I tried it. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and reserve my opinion until Brian gets in there. Brian, cut him off here. I just got to tell you, I'm gonna look at these fish a lot different now. I'm very pleasantly That's surprised. Good. Well, frying works. I have just, I have really got to be honest here. I am astounded, amazed. That's as good as crappie, bluegill. Blows my mind. This knocks my socks off. This is good, we'll see how smoked is. There you go. That smoker smells good. Here we are. I believe that's good and done. Now smoked fish is a nice snack that you can have with a little bit of sweet mustard and some olives, a little bit of white wine, grapes. And it's just as good after it's been refrigerated. We'll try this out. Now this is with the bones in it and uh, just looking at it, it looks pretty good. You can see that white meat under there. Well, I guess we'll just have to sit on here and try it. All right, now look when I pull this back, how white and flaky that is. You know, I think it's another winner. You know what? We had no expectations of killing a huge fish. Well, we got a couple. We got one huge one that got away. This one didn't get away. We could barely fit it in the cooler. And I'm telling you what, I'm so glad we did because you can't beat it. I'll look at those fish completely, totally different now. You can't beat them. Yeah, you gotta cook them, they're great. We'd tell you if it was bad, it's not. I'd give you two thumbs if I could. I'll give you two thumbs up. I'd, I'd, I'd give you one, two if I could. <laughs> I'll tell you what.